uh, you know, you've uh, had some really fun roles in your past. You played a couple different aliens. Now <laughs> you're playing a werewolf. I, don't know what it is. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Yeah, you know, <laughs> did, you, did you imagine that? You know, starting out and just like, wow, that's that's how it worked. No, I really didn't. I mean, you never know what your career, what's going to happen. Um, when I was cast in Smallville, that was awesome mm -hmm. and a great start for me as Supergirl. And uh, it's an iconic superhero. So playing her had a lot of. You know, I, I really had to fill some some shoes that people had specific ideas of how she should come across, and I think they were happy with that. Um, <coughs> and then V, I was a, a lizard princess, yes. um, which was great and awesome on ABC, and now a werewolf. I think I just go for the women that are strong mm -hmm. and um, can take care of themselves, so sci-fi sort of lends a hand to that. Uh, I have to ask you, uh, what was your reaction hearing about the CBS Supergirl mm -hmm. series and the sort of next iteration of that character? Yeah, I, I saw a lot of Twitter comments um, when that was happening that people wanted me to play Supergirl. And, you know, I don't know what their plan is for it, but I wish them well. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I can show up on it at some point. Well, Smallville so always had fun with that, with like yeah, we past back iterations. Yeah, we had uh, um, Christopher Reeves and yeah. other characters coming back. So maybe they'll have me come in as a villain or something, which would be fun. <laughs> I think people would be excited by that. Uh, <laughs> any advice for the uh, the next person to put on uh, the red boots? Um, <coughs> hmm. Make sure you have some Nike soles in there. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> so you can run. Um, just make it your own. Uh, th you know, everyone has an idea of how she should be, which I was concerned about when I played her. But when you find, you know, a way to relate to her and then bring in your own self into it, I think people appreciate it. You know, you can't make everything the same, um, mm -hmm. so just make it your own. Mm -hmm. You've, uh, obviously, especially with the shows you've done, uh, you've uh, done a lot of conventions like this. Is mm -hmm. it fun when you get to interact with the fans and see how passionate they are for the things you've been involved in? Yeah, um, every time I come to a convention, you know, you see a lot of the same faces too, mm -hmm. and you get to know people's names, um, but they're really dedicated fans, and with Bitten, it was a novel, b or a series of novels before we were around, so it was sort of the same thing as Supergirl in that there was expectations and already a fan base and we wanted to do uh, um, that justice. So now seeing the fans after s you know the first season has aired um, and they're still with us and they still like what we're doing, it's great. You know, you get some feed feedback from them. I know uh, and I've seen it happen <coughs> firsthand that uh, sometimes the fans will you know give gifts, they'll have art, is yep. there something like that that really stands out to you as a wow, that's amazing moment? There's been a few. I mean, there's um, Supergirl dolls and things like that. Um, one creepy moment, <laughs> surprise, <laughs> It'll surprise, yes. <laughs> was someone came up to me uh, about a year ago with my bra and dress from Ted. Okay. I don't know how they got it, but they yes. had it, All and right. so I signed that. Um, <laughs> and I've signed a, a few arms that then turn into tattoos, and they come back and show you. Okay. So that's crazy, but cool. Right, right. Yeah. But <laughs> it's all appreciated. Gotcha. Well, Laura, thank you so much for joining us here thank today. You. We'll have plenty more from New York Comic Con here at IGN. Thanks.